Oh my god, I made it so long now. I wasted so much. So stupid. Damn. But I'm just gonna experiment a bit because I'm feeling rebellious. Hi, my name is Sana. Today I thought that I would do something a bit different. I actually got this idea from Leah. And she told me that last year she did a Q&A while packing Christmas presents. So I went to New York not that long ago and I bought a lot of presents for my parents and my sister. I already have a Christmas present for Jelly. I ordered it online so I can't really pack that in yet. But today I thought that I would pack in my parents' presents and my sister's present while doing a little Q&A. It's gonna be quite a relaxing video. I mean, I won't put that much effort into anything really, just packing presents and answering questions. <laughs> so I got a lot of decorations and stuff to pack presents and I might have gone a bit too far. So I'm gonna start packing presents. I've got them all laying here in a big suitcase. First of all, I'm gonna start packing a present that is for my sister. It is two Nintendo games that she really, really wanted. She gave me a list of a lot of games and then I cho just chose these two. It's Zelda and uh, Mario Kart. Basically, my parents bought the Nintendo Switch for her. It's, she's gonna get it for Christmas and therefore I decided to get some games for her. So that's what I started with. Um, and as I'm gonna pack these, I'm gonna answer the first question and it is from Karim HD. Sana, how long have you been doing YouTube for? So I have been doing YouTube for quite a while now. I think the 2nd or 3rd of December is my anniversary and I actually by that time this year have done three, four years of YouTube I think. Four years of YouTube, I believe. 2013, yeah, I've, I've done two years of, four years of, <laughs> of YouTube. Does this even fit? Will this fit in the box? I feel like it won't. Oh god. The thing is, during Christmas, me and my parents do like a game. One of us goes, grabs a present, and then we have to guess what it is. So I'm kind of want to make it a bit more difficult by putting most things in boxes so that they won't be able to know what it is. As, um, for example, if it is a uh, some, some clothes or something, then it's a lot more easier to guess what it is. It's kind of obvious. Um, I'm gonna put this game in a box for my sister. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next question. This is from Jack Spencer. Would you ever quit YouTube? If so, why? If I would ever quit YouTube, it would probably be at the time when people don't really watch my videos anymore. Of course I enjoy it, but I wouldn't enjoy it as much if there was no one watching because now I've gotten used to all the positive and amazing feedback that I've gotten. So I'm like really, I don't know, I've gone, I've become a bit spoiled with the amount of support that I get from you guys and therefore I think without you guys, I don't know, it wouldn't be the same. In the beginning when I just started YouTube, I really wanted to get some viewers of course, but I didn't get as much viewers as I get now of course, but I just really appreciate it when I got a few viewers. But now I've become a bit spoiled like I said. I get a lot of comments from you guys, really positive comments and yeah, it just makes me really happy, so I don't know. When you guys stop watching, I'll stop uploading, probably. I'm really bad at packing presents, by the way. I don't even know how this is gonna ha go on. Also, something I wanted to talk to you guys about is what do you guys celebrate during Christmas, or during December month, or during the winter months? Do you guys celebrate, or don't you celebrate? For example, I celebrate Christmas, and uh, yeah, I was wondering what you guys celebrate, if you guys celebrate Christmas or if there's something else you guys celebrate. And uh, let me know in the comment section below because not everyone celebrates Christmas. <laughs> okay, so this is getting trickier and trickier and there's so many things on the table that I don't even know what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's put this here. And then I need to cut. Uh, I'm probably going to cut my hair off during this. Oh God. Okay, guys. <sighs> that was a struggle. Okay. I am so bad at this. It's not even funny how bad I am at packing presents. But we'll just try to get it right, am I right? Okay, so I'm gonna answer another question now. Has Jelly ever made you angry in game before? And yes, he has. Like, it happens quite often that we do argue while, we <laughs> while we're gonna record a video, especially GTA, because he is a lot better than me at GTA and that annoys me because 
he really takes advantage out of that he's good at the game and really does everything to make me look terrible. So that's kind of annoying. Keeps on blowing me up in GTA, etc. And it sucks. Because it's not fun for my viewers to just see a black screen all the time when I play. And uh, it's just not fun being blown up all the time. That's mostly what we argue about. Oh god, oh, I'm really struggling with this present. Better look good. I could not find another color tape, by the way. I only found like a red one, which is not the nicest, but I mean, doesn't matter too much. Let's see, another question. How old were you when you moved to Spain? Okay, when I moved to Spain, I was six years old and I moved from Norway. A lot of people think that I lived in Sweden as I'm Swedish, but no, my parents moved to Norway when they were like 20 years old, I believe. And since then they lived there until they had me and my sister and then, and then they, we moved to Spain. Okay, so the present is almost finished. I need to decorate with some kind of thing though. So I'm gonna get some of this red stuff, whatever this is called. And uh, let's let's put it on. Oh, Christmas is my favorite holiday that me and my family celebrate. And it's like the happiest time of the year for me and my family and I really love it. But as you get older, when I was younger, I thought everyone was happy during Christmas and that's not true. Everyone's not happy during Christmas. There's not everyone that have people to celebrate with, etc. Oh God, I'm really screwing this up, am I not? So I've recently thought a lot about that, that it's not a good time for everyone. So Christmas is both good and it can be a very difficult and hard time for many people. What am I even saying now? Okay. Basically, not everyone has a good time during Christmas. So be kind to everyone and yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Oh my god, I made it so long now, I wasted so much. So stupid. Damn. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna experiment a bit because I'm feeling rebellious packing these presents. But yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful time whatever you celebrate, if it's Christmas or if it's anything else. Hope you guys have a good time and appreciate everything that you guys have. Because not everyone has the same. I need to move on to the next question, by the way. I kind of forgot about that. It'll be all right. <laughs> My sister will probably be happy for this. And then I bought some of these little, little post-it things or whatever they're called that you can put like a name on it so they know who it's for. And it really sucks because I decided, I was like, I saw these pink sparkly ones and I was like, damn, I'm gonna get the pink sparkly ones. But now like they don't look nice at all with the presents. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay, I need a pen. Oh God, I forgot a pen. I knew I forgot something. Six and a half hours later. Okay guys, I'm back. Okay, let's see. This one wasn't very nice on that side. I'm gonna get another one. Use that one. Oh, they're all like that. And the last one isn't. Okay. I'm gonna write this in Swedish. Till Emma from Sanna. Means to Emma from Sanna. <laughs> Complicated. And I'm gonna get one of these stickers. These beautiful stickers that I got. I used to be obsessed with stickers when I was younger. Did you guys do that? I had like a whole book full of stickers and then I used to go around with my friends and like swap them and stuff. Don't really know why, but yeah. Did you guys do that? I thought it was so much fun when I was younger. Gonna put a little Christmas tree here, a little card. Then I'm gonna tie it onto here. My parents are actually out at the moment, so I hope they don't get back too soon because then they're gonna see what the Christmas presents are. And I don't want that. And also guys, when you celebrate Christmas, for example, or if you celebrate something else, what is your favorite part of it? Is it the presents? Is it your family? What is it? For me, when I was younger, I think like everyone, the presents were the favorite. But recently, of course, or not recently, for the past 10 years, I've just started to appreciate, I don't really appreciate the presents as much as I appreciate being with my family. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I, I appreciate my family more than I appreciate the presents now, <laughs> which sounds terrible. Cause you should, you should always appreciate your family more. 
But when you're, you're a child, you know, you're so excited for the presents and everything, having a good time. I just appreciate being with my family and everything. And that's what the best thing about Christmas is now, that my whole family's together. And especially now that my parents or my sister doesn't live at home anymore. She lives in Scotland and goes to university there. And um, I don't get to see her as often, of course. So now during Christmas, I'm gonna see her and it's gonna be so much fun. So the whole family gets together. When I was younger, I actually celebrated with my grandparents as well, but not that much anymore. But it's just so much fun that everyone gets back together. Okay, I kind of forgot about the questions. Let's see. What did you want to become when you were small? When I was younger, um, what did I want to become? But I think there was a lot of things I wanted to do. There was one time, I think before I decided to do YouTube, I wanted to become a marine biologist. So study the marines, basically the sea and waters and animals and everything, because I really like animals. I think like everyone, almost everyone wanted to become a teacher when they were younger. Well, that was usually before you went to school, you wanted to become a teacher and then you went to school and then you realized how boring, how boring the teachers are. Some of the teachers are. <laughs> and then I didn't really want to do that anymore. But yeah, I've wanted to, I've gone through a lot of different choices. Like when I was like five years old, I wanted to become a farmer, bus driver, taxi driver. I was really into like the driving, driving jobs. So yeah, what did you guys want to become? when you were smaller, because yeah, I wanted to become a princess as well, which I soon realized after that I would never become a princess because it's just not easy to become a princess unless I marry a prince. And I mean, where do I find one of those? So next question, maybe. Do you plan for new year to start streaming with Jelly? So for 2018, I think he means. Um, and I do not think I'm going to be starting to stream with Jelly. I don't know, I don't really like streaming that much, but I love joining him for streams, so that I, for example, when he streams, I'll join and play games with him, etc. So yeah, I think that's fun. But starting my own streaming channel, I don't think so, but you never know. Maybe one day I will. So when I went to New York, there were like sales on everything, because I went there on Black Friday, so I was really happy to get lots pre lots of presents for my family and then also in new york it's a lot cheaper or in the us it's a lot cheaper than what products are in in europe for example some of the products many of them so yeah that was good so i could get some a lot of cheaper presents from my for my family even though they're still quite expensive okay let's get another one of these little Noty notes right for to Emma from Senna. I always love and look forward to packing presents But then when I'm actually there, I'm just like, oh god, I've got so many presents to pack But yeah, I enjoy it though. I really like giving presents <laughs> I like giving my family presents more than I like receiving them Which I guess is a positive thing Okay, two presents done. Now we're gonna go on to the next one. Maybe we should pack one for one of my parents now Let's see Okay, I'm gonna pack this next and it is some earrings that I bought for my mom and the reason to why I bought them for her is because I bought the same ones a few years ago but then she she lost them and she was very upset about it uh, so I decided to get her the same pair all over again so I guess that's nice, that's a nice thing. I need to make sure on all these things that the price is not there and yes it is there. Oh my god, I, I forgot to check the other ones, but I hope they took them away. They probably didn't. Oh my god, that's kind of embarrassing. I don't, I don't want to show the price, but whatever. My sister knows what the game costs anyways, and I hope they're not there. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this now, this paper right here. And also, like, I only managed to get one nice present for my dad. He is the most difficult person to get presents, presents to. So difficult. He never wants anything, but if he wants something, he'll go buy it. So like, he doesn't leave any space for me to get him anything. Christmas for me and my family have been a very kind of important thing. For us, it is a very special time of the year. It is a very important time of the year. We've just always valued it a lot. I know some people, for example, Jelly does celebrate Christmas, but he doesn't 
His family doesn't take it. Oh god. <laughs> Jelly did order something, so I have to go open up. But I want to get this. What is this green tape? How does this is this supposed to work? Let's see. Okay, looks a bit cute. Okay, maybe cut two more before we do the other side. Okay, next question. Which is your favorite country that you have visited? Uh, I have visited quite a lot of new countries this year. I've been to Ireland, I've been to Poland, I have been to... I can't really remember, but I, I know I've been more places. But there's not one country that I have preferred the most. I think there's just a lot of different things about each country that I have enjoyed. And I would love to visit more countries with Jelly, of course, and hopefully meet you guys one day. Aww. The next question, does Jelly like Christmas? Like I said, um, Jelly doesn't celebrate, she does celebrate Christmas. Well, he celebrates something else called Sinterklaas or something, and which is um, Dutch. And he also celebrates Christmas, but it's just, he doesn't celebrate as much as I do. So, not sure what's, what is the usual amount that you celebrate Christmas, but I think in Sweden, a lot of people take Christmas quite seriously. And it's a big celebration. But yeah, I hope Jelly can become a more Christmassy person after this year, because I love Christmas. I want him to enjoy Christmas too. Let's see, next question. How is yours and Jelly's YouTuber's life? Okay, so YouTube life is busy. It's a lot of work. But then, of course, it's so nice being able to just do this with you guys. And just sit down and, and pack some presents, do a Q&A, quite a relaxing video. I really enjoy that, that you can do both. That you can enjoy, have fun, scream and uh, joke around, but that you can also sit down and just relax. Because I like that. <laughs> I like relaxing a bit as well. So, especially now this December month's been so busy with the vlogging and the double uploading. Haven't been able to double upload every single day as some of you might have been able to notice. I think already three days this month I have not double uploaded, which is quite annoying. It's mainly because it's so busy. And also, like I told you guys in a vlog, the internet was gone for two days. I really wanted to get work done, but I couldn't. I hate that. Let's get this bow on there. I really like these bows. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's see, where can I put it? Right on top of there. Wow, amazing. Looks so cute, perfect. Okay, let's move on to the next question. What did you love about 2017 and keep up the great work you do, Santa? Thank you guys so much. Um, what I enjoy the most in 2017, I think I have to say St. Thomas. St. Thomas was I think the best, best holiday this year. Me and Jelly got a little holiday and it was just amazing. It was so amazing. I've mentioned many times that my dream is to travel to a place with blue water and this year I finally got to go. My mom really likes these shirts by the way from Abercrombie or Hollister, which are really, really soft. So I had to get her one of those, of course. Let's get this pink package for her, put this in there, and then get some of these hair ties that she's obsessed with. She, every single time I go to the US, Santa, you gotta stop by Sephora and get some of those hair ties. So I need to get a lot of them. And I think I overspent a bit on hair ties this year. My mom is worth it. Okay, well that was a lot of hair ties. Now let's close this up. Uh, I don't know if the price is, no, imagine if the price was on every single one. It's gonna be so funny now to see my parents and my sister trying to guess what's in here. Because this, can you guys tell that there's a t-shirt in here and hair ties? Don't think so. Okay, there we go. <sighs> I need to put some paper on it as well, don't I? I think I'm gonna use this one again. Let's see. Yeah, what I loved about 2017 was being able to go there to St. Thomas, which I could, I could go see Blue Water, which has been my dream to see for so long it's well I, since I can remember it's just like my favorite thing like there's nothing more I would want to do it's like just go to place tropical place blue water that's my like dream holiday 
But then also, of course, I went to a lot of meetups, which was amazing. Absolutely love meeting you guys and seeing you guys in real life because it's quite difficult getting an image of you guys when all I see is comments and well I see pictures of course on Instagram and stuff but other than that I don't really know that much about you guys oh god how am I supposed to do this I'm kind of struggling already here there's not that much space on this table let's see next question what was it like having a childhood in Sweden and then traveling and did you ever think you would get a million subscribers and living in Spain. So I have not hit 1 million subscribers yet, but I don't think it's gonna be that long until I do, which is gonna be amazing, so much fun. Like I said before, I have never lived in Sweden, but my parents actually have a summer house there now. So I just spent some time in Sweden now, since recently, and I think it's a lot of fun. I absolutely love Sweden, and I wouldn't mind living there in the future. But then we, of course, have to ask Julius, where, well, where he wants to live. I hope my parents don't come back soon, because that would be a shame. Because I'm still packing here. Please, parents, don't come back soon. Don't do it. My parents are going to be like, what are you doing? What a mess. But yeah, it was really nice for me to grow up in Norway. I had a lot of friends where I lived. Lived in a very, very nice neighborhood where... I had lots of friends to hang around with and I think I could not ask for a better childhood but then of course that was before I was well when I was six years old I moved to Spain even though we still had the house in Norway so I went back there every summer so I had it until I was like 10 I believe and that's when we sold the house and we were permanently in in Spain it was very sad to sell the house I don't know the house just meant a lot to us, but yeah, Spain is amazing as well. I finished my mom's present. I'm gonna look for some more questions right now. Let's see. Six and a half hours later. Okay, I'm gonna get the next present and it is some shoes for my dad. Let's just make sure the price tag is not on here. I don't think they're on there, but they are some shoes that he wanted. So we're gonna pack them. Let's get this beautiful, beautiful paper and uh, start wrapping the present. I got another question. Are you and Jelly ever going back to America? I really hope we are gonna go back to America soon because I would love to. I love America, but I don't know if it's gonna be very soon. I, I do think that we're gonna go back next year, but if it's soon, I have no idea. I'm gonna try to pack this as fast as I can. Let's see. The next question is, why did you start to do YouTube videos? And the reason why I started YouTube videos is I've always been really interested in photography and filming. And when I was younger, I actually made some videos with my friends when I was literally like eight years old and we actually uploaded them to YouTube and they're still out there. So maybe one day I could do like a video reacting to it or something. It came back to me when I was around 13 years old and some, I found some friends who were doing YouTube and I thought it looked so much fun. So I started to upload some YouTube videos and here I am today. And I'm super happy with it. I'm having so much fun and just enjoying it a lot. Okay, well this is a very, very difficult present. How am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to do this? Look at this guy. It looks terrible. Oh my God. I think it looks... Um, Maybe not the best, but whatever, whatever. Beautiful, oh my God. Most beautiful present I've ever packed, damn. Then of course, a little pink note from my dad. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you want more Christmas movies like this. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to make some more this year or maybe next year. But yeah, let me know what you think about this. I hope you guys have a wonderful December month, Christmas, whatever you celebrate. I love you guys so much. Bye!